Hello and welcome to our program. Congratulations for entering this month. Uh, our program is called the Month of Allah, and I'm very happy to be here and to have the chance to be able to talk about this month and also uh, the specific ahkam that are surrounding our matter, which is um, fasting. I'll start without any more uh, explanations. Uh, the first thing that is really important about fasting is your intentions. And it is important to know how uh, the intention is made and uh, what is the time and quality of that. By intending, we mean that uh, before the day begins, before the adhan, for the morning, you need to have in your heart intention for fasting, only for God, for, for the satisfaction of God. You need to be intending to do a couple of things that you know about fasting, which completes this circle of fasting. Uh, now the time, it is said that it, 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 it starts actually when uh, the Adhan of Maghrib, the day before that, starts, and, out, and up to the Adhan of the morning. So you have this period of time to have the intention in your heart. Now, uh, is it necessary for us to say something and to show God, for example, vocally, to say something that we are intending or to even pass it in our hearts? No, it's not needed. Just doing whatever God has commanded in this month, which uh, is, you know, it's about fasting, like not eating, not drinking, not doing a set of things that you know about fasting. Just doing them for God is enough. So intention is does not need to be said, does not to be even be specifically, you know, tended to in your heart. No, you just want to do that and you start your action when the morning starts. So first thing about uh, fasting. Uh, second thing is that uh, sometimes we have obligatory fasts like in this month and sometimes we, are, we have recommended fasts like in other months that we do for extra rewards from God. Uh, for uh, obligatory fasts, if somebody, you know, unconsciously without, you know, paying attention does not have the intention and the Adhan of the morning just starts, then uh, you cannot start your fast and your fast is broken, you need to uh, do it after the month. But for recommended fasts, means fasts that uh, we do that in the other month, which is not Ramadan, for example, in Sha'ban, for example, in Rajab, any other month. We have recommended fast that we have a lot of accounts about them, uh, really good, and um, they have excessive and extra rewards for us. But in those fasts, uh, up to the um, half of the day, up to the noon, if you have even forgotten to have your intention, it's okay. You come to your senses, you, for example, wake up, you understand that, oh, today I just wanted to fast, but I did not intend for it. You make your intention and you continue. But after the noon, after the Adhan of uh, noon, you cannot do that. In obligatory uh, fasts, it is really important to uh, have this pure intention because fasting like other activities and like other kind of worships that we have in our religion, is a kind of uh, worshiping that we do for God, for only satisfaction of God. So like uh, saying prayers that you cannot do uh, for other people's you know, desires, for other people's admirations, for other people's uh, satisfaction. Fasting is the same. And all of that importance goes to your intentions. Do I really do that for God? Or do I really do that even for somebody else to see that I'm fasting, probably I'm a good person so they will admire me and something like that. No, it needs to be pure. If it's not pure, then you are not fasting. Your fast is broken, it's not validated. Uh, and one of the really good rewards of this uh, pure intention is the fact that uh, it's a very, very rewarding process and practice for you. Because one day you practice to do whatever God said and to not commit sins, not to commit things that break, break your fast. So that practice is going to pay off afterwards. But if fasting is not going to be like that, if it's going to be for other people's desires and for other people's cheers and admirations, then it won't have the effect that it should have. So it is really important to specifically uh, teach our child uh, about this important matter of the intention, which um, the amount of the 
reward, the amount of virtue of the acts that we do, and the amount of um, importance and significance, they are all relying on your intentions. What is your intention when you want to start fasting? It is only for God, or no? It is not. It is for God. Some part of it. Some part of it for some somebody else. No. So we should clarify. We should clear. We should cleanse our intentions. So may God bless us and give us uh, more understanding about this uh, pure and holy month. Thank you. Thank you very much. And good luck.